Yo, what is good YouTube? What's up PlayStation Nation? Jay Bari here and I'm back with another video here to show you an Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree farming spot that I was told about and it's quite effective. You know, uh, shout out to the Elden Ring community, shout out to the friends out there in these gaming streets where, uh, you know, it was like, yo, you play Shadow of the Erd Tree? Yo, Bari, did you know about this farming spot? Oh, no, I don't know about this farming spot. Hey, let me show you real quick. So I'm going to show you guys on how you can farm some runes on Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree and you don't even have to fight anyone <laughs> with this farming uh, method and spot. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If this helped you out, let me know in the comment section below and hopefully you can get OP as well. But let's get into it and let me show you where you got to go. Uh, for this farming spot. So this is kind of a late game uh, farming spot. Uh, so you have to beat Mesmer. So you got to go through the whole Shadow Gate, uh, Shadow Keep um, area, which is a really cool area in my opinion. And then once you go there, you got to go all the way down and go to the 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 the, the, the Verdek, uh, Minor Tower. And then from there, just keep on going, and you're gonna have to fight this little hippopotamus boss to your left when you leave that area. Um, but you're gonna circle back around and it's gonna be like some underground area That you got to go through you got to fight some OP monsters and then all the little people uh, You know with the little the two little, you know uh, uh, Circle blades, but you're gonna go to the the, the raw uh, Ancient ruin East and from there. This is what you're gonna be doing uh, For this farming method. So right at the gray spot make sure you get your your, your golden pickle chicken feet Go to this spot, click that in, make sure you put on your golden scarab as well in, in, as far as your talisman and then stand at this spot right here where this fire golem is going to be casting this fire at you. It won't hit you at this spot but it's going to pretty much decimate every little shadow enemy on there. So once it, once it kneels down, run back to the gray spot Then when you see everybody die, press triangle or whatever button it is on Xbox. And then it's going to double kill the enemies. So you're going to be getting originally when the fire golem sprays the fire thing at the, the shadow enemies. You're getting around like 25k um, with the golden uh, uh, pickle feet, uh, chicken feet and um, the, the golden scarab. But if you do it again, you know, you're going to get more. So you can get around like 40 some K, 50 K each run that you do when you go to the, the, the gray spot. Re reset it because the, the the fire it lingers out there a little bit so when you reset the gray spot everything that they respawn they get hit again uh, with it so as you can see I'm getting a lot of grace uh, not a lot of grace but a lot of runes uh, from doing this method so yeah it, 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 it works you ain't got to really do nothing you can just casually play the game you know listen to a podcast whatnot listen to a video and, and do this farming run right here where you essentially aren't fighting anyone uh, in the game. So once again, make sure you have your your golden scarab uh, in your equipment and your talisman. Uh, make sure you have the golden pickle uh, chicken feet. Uh, so have it, it is, there's, there's many methods where you can just, you know, create that stuff. And then uh, from there, go to the grace point, you know, trigger the, go the fire golem at that spot. Wait there wait until the fire golem kneels down and then run to the golden go run to the uh the, the 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 grace and then you know you know rest at the grace and then you're going to get double the the amount of runes there um so yeah this farming method it worked a lot uh for me you know as i you know obviously you want to you want to explore and play the game how the game is intended to play um so if you're doing something like this uh, is going to change the way how the game is being played because you're going to get you know pretty strong um it does take it does take a while you know it does take a while but and it is kind of late game because you got to defeat ranala you got to defeat uh mesmer you know before you even get to the spot so you go you have the bulk of the game pretty much completed before you can do this but if you just want to get some you know quick rooms and easy rooms this method definitely works uh uh really well in my personal opinion um as you can see i'm getting you know to the million point <laughs> just doing this method right here so go to the grace point rest at there 
I like to I like to do the, the grace point two times. You can't do a triple, you know, um uh you can't kill them three three times at the grace point because it just takes too long. But I like to reset it again just so I can have everyone there. Um and then I go back to the grace point and uh do it again. But yeah, just wanted to show this quick uh farming method. Um like I said, it works really, really well. Um if it does help you out, let me know in the comment section, hit the like button. Um, I don't really put out Elden Ring content like that. I did when the original game came out, you know, showing, you know, how to get to, you know, these rune spots or wanting to get to these great rune spots or whatnot, you know, the boss fights and, and things like that. But I've been enjoying uh, Shadow of the Earth Tree. I thought it's a really good DLC. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty much at the end of the DLC. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, let me know if this helps you out. It's your boy Jay Bari. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. I'm gone. Deuces.